All right, guys, welcome back. What will be tied today is a WD-40. Uh, this fly can be tied in an 18 through a 22. Uh, the best colors that I've found have been uh, gray and tan. Uh, sometimes olive works pretty good. Uh, what will be tied on today, this is an Umqua U202. That's 1X short, 1X strong, and a size 18. The thread we're using today is Super Thread and 18 aught. The tail on this is going to be made up of gray uh, mallard flank feathers and we'll also use the leftovers of that for the wing case. For the body, you'll just be using your tying thread to lay down a nice even base up through there. And then for the thorax, we have dark olive scud dubbing. All right, let's get started. Come in a couple hook eyes back. Start laying a base of thread, nice smooth body. Halfway through the bend. Come in and clean that out. And we're gonna bring in our tailing material. We just need a couple of these. We don't need a whole lot. Pull those off. This one you're gonna go gap of the hook is the length of your tail. Come in and clean some of that up. Finch and loop. One more time. Finch and loop. Nice even wraps toward the front. Build a nice body. And come back just about to where the hook point starts. That's where we're going to tie in. Uh, our wing case. When you pull your feathers like this, don't forget to come in on the other side. You can pull that extra piece off and set it to the side and use it for your next fly. Uh, but when you get ready to tie in these as wing cases, anytime you're tying a feather in like this, you're going to want to make sure it's even. So when you pull it through, it makes a nice uh, cover. Don't ever rush your fly, doesn't matter how big it is. Just take your time, get it right the first time. Don't come in here, clear those out. You can see that some of those come out the other side, just pull them out of the way. Now with the dubbing on this, you don't need a whole lot. This is made to be a little bitty fly. When you see a bunch of fish feeding just just at the surface, and you can't figure out what they're eating. Uh, you've thrown everything in a box. It's usually something similar to this pattern or this pattern. Um, I tie this up in a couple different colors and keep them in the box, just in case. And build a nice little thorax here. to the back, pull that mallard over for that wing case top, get a little tug to the back, I'm going to come in and put a couple half hitches in, and now if I were to come in and Clip this up right there. A couple more half hitches in, or you can whip whichever one you prefer. When you tie with your tying tools like that, sometimes it lets you make a little bit more of a precise knot on where you want it to sit down. Now, if you finish up this fly and it's got all this extra fibers and stuff hanging around, as long as that hook eye's clear, I'd leave those on there. And that'll fish really well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's fly. Like, share, and subscribe. Come over to Splash Chop Flies on Facebook. Give us a look. Um, if you guys have got anything you want to see, leave it uh, in the comments below. And until next time, top line.